Welcome to the War Surge App Tour. I'm Richard Hollingsworth, and in this video I'll demonstrate the app by making a few profiles, a roster, and introduce the play feature. In this demo I'll be using the Android version. When you start the app, you'll begin here in the main menu. Units is where you build units and weapons. Rosters is where you put your units and weapons together for a game. Play is where you take the roster you made into a game. Settings is where you'll be able to change settings. You can copy all your data to another device, which will overwrite it. Guide has some handy links related to War Surge. Before we go further, you'll see an eye icon up the top right. When you tap that, it'll show you a video related to the area you are in. Now let's get started with units. New unit will create a new unit. You'll have to place it into a faction first, which is like a folder to keep your units. Edit unit allows you to modify your units and weapons. Armory is where your weapons are kept. You can also edit weapons from here. Let's tap new unit. We have to put the unit we're about to create into a faction. We can use an existing one here, or make a new one. These demo armies come pre-installed with the app, but you can do what you like with them. Right now I'm going to make a new faction. When we tap accept, it'll take us to the unit creation area. There are three tabs across the top of the screen, while in the iOS version, they'll be down the bottom. The tabs focus on different aspects of making a unit. In the Units tab, you focus on a unit's movement and how tough they are. You can also decide if there'll be a transport. These stats are covered in the Quick Start videos, but you'll see there are also Symbol and Law buttons. Symbol lets you choose a picture for the unit, and Law allows you to write the background story of a unit or anything you like really. I'm going to start with a name and put some stats in. When you change stats and perks, the point cost of a unit will change. The better a unit is, the more it will cost to use in a game. Be sure to hit save. There's a reminder if you have unsaved changes, but it's a good habit. The next tab is perks. Here you may put special rules on a unit. They could be skills or abilities or passive benefits that last for the whole game. When you tap add, there's different families which hint at what perks they contain. For example, ability grants an ability for the unit to use in a game. Tapping a family will access the perks within. Then tapping a perk will bring up a description. Tapping the perk again will add it to your unit. You can read about the perk again by tapping the perk. You can also remove it if you wish when you've selected it. The Weapons tab is where you can create or import weapons. Tap Forge to create a weapon. We'll need to select an armory to place it in, or make a new one, just like when we made a faction for the unit. I'm going to make a new armory. In this screen we can see two tabs up the top, which are at the bottom in iOS. Weapon Stats and Weapon Perks. Stats is where we define how powerful a weapon is, and perks allow us to add extra potency or additional effects to a weapon. We've covered these stats in the Quick Start videos, but the Symbol and Law buttons are here too. I'm just going to whip something up. As with units, the more powerful a weapon is, the more points it will cost to take in a game. Again, hitting save is a good habit. Weapon perks are added just like with unit perks.
Hit save, then tap exit to return to the previous screen. There's the new weapon. I'll just make another weapon or two. Okay, that's enough for the moment. Let's hit save and exit. Now I'll just make a few more units quickly. If you need to make any changes to units, go to Edit Unit. There are buttons that allow you to make copies, share with friends using QR codes among other editing tools. Tap a faction twice to access it, and tap a unit twice to edit it. Be sure to hit save when you're done editing a unit. Armoury is pretty much the same as Edit Unit, except the weapons are kept in armories instead of factions. The editing buttons are here too and you can tap an armory or weapon twice to access it. Next, let's look at rosters. You can create a new roster or edit an existing one. Let's make a new one. The roster area has two tabs. You mostly need the first one, the units tab, which is where you place your units. The Roster Perks tab has perks which can affect your whole roster. Note that in iOS, these tabs are at the bottom of the screen. The Import button is where you bring a unit into your roster. Tap it, then tap the faction you want. Then tap the unit. Next, you'll be asked how many models are in the unit. A squad of troops could be say, 10 models, but some units like vehicles are typically one model. When that's done, you'll see this menu. There are four tabs. Unit focuses on the number of models and weapons. You can adjust the number of models with quantity and can tap a weapon twice to set the number of that weapon equipped by the unit. Hit done when you are finished, or you can tap edit to adjust the unit's stats, perks and weapons. The Perks tab shows you a summary of the perks on the unit, including its equipped weapons. You can tap a perk to read about it. The Traits tab allows you to add a special upgrade to the unit. Law allows you to read what is written in the law area for a unit or equipped weapon. Just tap what you want to read about. Back in the roster area again, you can clone the unit if you have more than one of it, or remove a unit. Reset will clear all the units you've put in the roster. It'll give you a warning first. While building a roster, you can tap any unit twice to make changes to it.
Now, as I import units and change the number of models and weapons, the points will change. When players have a game, they should agree to a limit and be within a few points of it to create a fair game. Let's have a look at roster perks. Tap add and you'll see a list of perks. Tap one to read about it. If you like it, tap it again to add it to the roster. You can read it again by tapping it or you can hit remove to rid it from the roster. Be sure to hit save. I think I'm done with this roster. As with units and weapons, you can also edit, share and scan rosters with the edit roster button. Let's go to the play area. When you tap play, it'll ask you to choose a roster. Let's use the one we just made. Play has your roster and some extra features, which are in these four tabs. In the roster tab, it lists your units, the point cost of the roster and how many points are left. You can tap a unit twice to read more details about the unit along with its perks, weapons, lore and so forth. You can adjust the remaining models in HP to see how much value the unit has left in a game. Hit apply if you want to apply these changes. There are casualty, restore and share QR buttons. Casualty will set a unit's models and HP to zero. Restore will bring it back to full models and HP. As units suffer casualties, their value will diminish. This will reflect in the points on this screen, including the remaining points at the bottom. Share QR will bring up a QR code that another player can scan in the Enemy tab. Speaking of the Enemy tab, you can import a saved roster or scan a QR code to bring one in. When a roster is there, you can tap it twice to see its units and so forth, just like the roster tab from before. You can also adjust the remaining HP and models as well. The dice tab allows you to roll dice. The need button allows you to filter which dice were successful, either before or after you roll. You can see the detailed results below and if necessary, you can select dice to re-roll. The scatter arrow is used for some perks. The history button has a record of the dice rolls you made in this session. Lastly, the Rules tab. This has many elements of the core rules handy, including an attack dice chart that has been split into three for viewing on smartphones. Well, that's it for the tour. Make some units, weapons and rosters, then play a game.